now to make the uh, navigation menu into a vertical menu once it drops down under the button there we have to tell the LI that we floated left to not float left anymore so we're going to say main nav ULLI float none now toggle the navigation and this is what we get and um, you'll notice a drop down menu doesn't work but the thing is is that it wouldn't really work anyway in the way we're using it. If we're using it for a touch screen, like we're designing this for a, a phone, which would have a touch screen. And it's just not very, very user friendly whenever you have it with a CSS drop down menu like this. So what I'm thinking about doing is actually just taking the the UL that we're actually showing on the on the hover and adding it under that as part of the list and kind of space it over a little bit, make it seem like it's kind of a list of games under that, if that makes any sense at all. It's going to be quite a bit of CSS, I think, but it will do what we need it to do. So that's pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and write some CSS. I'm gonna start above this. So we have to affect the UL inside the UL. So I'm going to say main nav ul ul and we're going to set the position to relative and hit control s and let's view this make sure that didn't okay and now what we have to do is come right here and say main nav ul li hover to the ul now this is what we just wrote up there. It's not, I'm not making this up on top of my head. This is this right here. Could just copy and pasted that. And then inside of this, we're going to set this position to relative. To control S, view that. Okay, it's there on hover now, and that's not what we want. So on this one right here, we have to set the top to zero. Refresh. There we go. Now they're there. And they have different paddings and they have a different width. So we have to fix that to match up with the others. So that's going to be main nav ul ul a. And do not frown upon my, my crazy selectors. I like my crazy selectors. We're going to add the padding that we shared with the, uh, the anchor tags above. For 0, 20 pixels, 0, and 20 pixels. Now set the width to auto, so it'll be the full width it can be in this area. There we go. And the line height is 50 pixels. Again, just matching the anchor tags from above. And now it looks just like a link on, these, on the uh, top menu. So that, that looks pretty good. Now let's add some padding to the left of that. Of like 40 pixels to offset it so you can see that it's actually part of the sub menu just like that and I think that is what I'm going to go with instead of the drop down menu on that at that resolution there and you can also see that my X is always there which really creates some problems because you don't want to be able to do that to the main navigation on a full-size screen maybe you do but I don't so the close nav should be display none. Ah, oh, let's go to resize the browser. Yeah, it's not actually there. So that's kind of going to be the downfall there of that, with us using jQuery that way. But it's, it's not really designed for you to be resizing your browser and it work. That's just me to show you how it works. But it's designed for mobile devices and smaller screens. So if you're sitting here like, oh, how's the website look when I do this? And you see, Oh, the X stayed there. It's your fault for being stupid. Don't do that. I mean, yeah, you can do it to look at it, but don't do not do it to be like, it's broken. Well, because you broke it, stupid. So we're going to go with that. That's going to be my argument. Toggle. There it is. We'll make the X a little bit more pleasant to look at. I guess we could take the styles from that. We could use the same styles and make it work. Let's add the main nav to this one. Refresh and get rid of that padding. What 
padding. I don't see padding. Oh, I didn't save that from the testing. There we go. Then we have this whole thing as a link we can close. It also needs a drop shadow, which would be the box shadow right here. Control C, Control V, how does backspace that? That's beautiful. And again, we can make this say whatever. We may want to make it say uh, like close, because X may not be enough to show that's how you close the navigation menu. So we could say close, or I don't know, close navigation. It depends on the IQ level, the people you're that are visiting your website. But that makes some sense to me. So. But yeah, how cool is that? Let's add, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe some borders between these. Let's see. You know what? I don't think I want any borders. Like, I was going to add, like, a border on the bottom of, like, one pixel. Kind of like a faint blue color or something. But maybe I will not. Maybe this works just fine. And again, you may take a different route with your drop-down menu. You could set it up as, like, a... Uh, like a carousel thing in a way where like where I click games instead of rolling over I click games using a little bit of jQuery here and then that menu kind of slides down under games you could do that but that's just one more click they have to do to get there and they may not like that people are really uptight about the amount of time they use so we want to keep it as quick as possible and yeah they do have to click to open the navigation menu but that saves a lot of screen real estate because this is just a very, very small menu. So imagine if this was larger, it would take up the whole space down through there. And you can center these in the center if you wanted to do something like that. Uh, just whatever, you know, it's completely up to you on how you do this. There's a lot of different ways to go about doing it that make it actually look good. And I think this looks okay. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped you in some way i have about 40 minutes of raw footage that i have to edit through now uh, because this took a lot of screwing up to get right because i didn't know how i was going to do the drop down menu uh in the in this style right here but this is how i do it and again you'll notice whenever i bring the uh the browser back to normal size after i have toggled the menu in the smaller size we have the closed navigation but that's because jQuery told it to display. And then you resize the browser. Resizing the browser doesn't reset that, so it's still there. Um, you close it and it kind of screws up everything. But that's fine. People are not going to be like, you know, resizing it to see how it works and then complaining about being broken. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this helped a little bit, a teeny bit. It's a long video, I know. But the result is uh, desirable. It got what I wanted it to do done, so that's good. Um, this is going to be a long tutorial series because I am not able to make videos as often as I would like at the moment. But I will be able to in the future. Uh, so, please subscribe for the rest. If you have any special thing like this that we just did that you want to see done in this tutorial series, let me know. Because this was not necessary at all, but I did it because I thought it was cool. So if you like something like this and you want to see something else done that is similar to this, uh, post a comment, send me an email at austin at awfulmedia.com, tweet me at awfulmedia, send me a PM on Twitter, or Twitter, sorry, uh, on YouTube, leave a comment on our website, awfulmedia.com, there's so many ways you can get in touch with me. And uh, I would like to talk to people, so let me know. Send me something. All right, as usual, if you have any comments, any questions, post below. If you like the video, leave it a like. If you do not like the video, dislike it, but, you know, whatever. Share it with your friends. You have somebody wanting to learn how to do this kind of stuff, let them know. Again, follow me on Twitter. If you, if you want to know when something's coming up, I post on Twitter. I, I say, yeah, this will be up tomorrow, or this will be up later today, or this will be up yesterday. Uh, check out my user interface uh, written in CSS at 
awfulmedia.com slash pop, P-O-P. It's called the Pop UI. It's pretty interesting. I'm working on making it larger, so follow that. A lot of promotion at the end here. I'm sorry. I will see you next time.